All right, we are back with another show of Tech and Me. And what are you looking at? Hmm, ADW Launcher in detail. I've explained in my last video how to get ADW Launcher with Home Smack and then installing ADW Launcher and selecting ADW Launcher as your default app. All right, now we go to ADW Launcher in detail. So what is this? This is the main dock. When I switch between my home screens, this is your home screen, this is your desktop. When I switch between, you can see up, that's the desktop indicator. Right there. See there? Right there. Let me bring that closer and show you. Right there. I get those dots. That's the desktop indicator. I get the sense preview, uh, seven home screen look. You can have max up to seven home screens in AD Launcher. This is the main dock bar. This is the hidden dock, the main dock, and this is your drawer. So once we go into settings, uh, we can see in detail about each thing and how you can modify. And these are the cool transitions you can have, as you can see. All right, let's go into settings, menu. We can even change the menu of ADW Launcher and rearrange how you want everything to be. Whether you want settings to be first, you want search to be first, you want ADW settings to be first, or whatever. Okay, let's go into ADW settings. Presets. What's presets? It's preset. ADW comes up with different themes. It's preset like iPhone-ish or Nexus-ish or Fast or whatever. You guys can go into it. This is ADW Launcher EX. It's a paid version. It's about $2 on the market. Okay, UI settings. But definitely it's worth getting it because you have so much customization to do. All right, icons. Okay, so first, oh, UI settings, user interface. Okay, so we have icons, main dock, screen preferences, that is the desktop screens, the drawer, that is the drawer, and the hidden dock bar. So let's go into icons first. You can have fancy backgrounds to the icons, you can have new icons, you can even go into icon settings and you can change the size, the text color, the label, everything. You name it. I don't go much into icons much. Main dock. Now what is this? Main dock style. How many main docks do you want? Three, five, one, none. It's up to you. You set. Completely customizable. Okay, dock background. You can have different dock backgrounds as I showed you in my previous video. Uh, how you can have different themes and different themes give you different backgrounds for the main dock. Main dock size, you want it to 10, you, you can have it really small or you can have it really big. So I like it big. Then we go into advanced settings of the main dock and we have the dock tint effect that is make everything one color, all this stuff on the dock. So you can change the tint color, tint color to gray or black or whatever you want. But I don't like tint, I like my icons showing my color. Okay, we are done with the main dock. Screen preferences. Screen preferences is the desktop. The seven home screens that I showed you guys in the beginning. Yeah, that's the screens. So now you can have how many columns you want, how many rows you want. Uh, you can have the trash can position, whether you want it top, bottom. Um, you can even have top shrink, bottom shrink, whatever you want. Uh, trash can so that um, and then what else we have advanced settings uh, Hide icon labels auto stretch auto close folders. Let me show you what trash can position is hold on one second Suppose I want to delete pulse from here All right, so I bring it out and hold down. I can either remove it edit it to a different icon or uninstall it right from here. I don't even need an installer if I click uninstall, right there, boom, uninstall the application. I don't want to do that. But if I want to remove it, either I can, I can click remove, or as you can see, I have, the, I have it right there, and I can set it right there, and it gets removed to the, uh, what is that, recycle bin or whatever. All right, so that's the, that's that. All right, where will be screen preferences? So we got the trash can position. And you under you guys understood that. Okay, let's go to drawer settings. I showed you what the drawer is, the your app drawer. You can have your app, app drawer different styles. Let's go to the vertical, everyone has that. Horizontal is the Nexus uh, is the galaxy type. Let's go to vertical for D. Alright. Um what else do we have? Full screen, uh hide everything. Okay, let's have that. 
and then drawer columns you can even set the drawer columns you can right now I have four you can set it to five you name it okay and drawer rows you can set that to number let's increase the drawer columns to five and see how it looks it looks it's gonna look so much different uh, what else do we have icon text color fade to black we can even have a background color of the app drawer and then that's about it let's go on and check it's restarting AEW launcher because I changed the settings around let's put pulse back hold on uh, what's going on guys shoot okay let's put pulse back to its position okay as you can see okay let's see look at that 4d effect up and down see that that's a 4d uh what is this 4d application drawer or whatever okay let's go back into settings what else do we have we were in ui okay drawer settings we're done with that hidden dock bar the hidden dock bar that comes at the base you can have the hidden dock bar or not you can have the dock bar background you can auto close the dock bar and that's about it for hidden dock bar let's go to general preferences this is where the animation effects comes in uh, so we have animation effects gestures and screen preferences let me show you what animation effects is so we have the screen transition desktop scrolling speed screen transitions effects you have different with the while switching between seven different home screens you can have a different look let's try number seven out here okay and then uh, desktop scrolling speed how fast you want to fling between desktops uh, desktop bounce let's increase that to full and show you what that is desktop wall scrolling okay sense previews you want that or not I like sense previews so let's have that animated drawer zoom effect speed of the drawer when you launch the drawer okay so let's have it look at that okay so this is the bounce you see that transition effect is changed completely it goes down fades away comes back up between different home screens boom 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 it has a couple of it's, it has a little bit of bounce to it see that yeah that's a bounce yep that's the bounce all right um, we're in general behavior we got the animation and effects done with let's go to gestures we can have the home button binding that is if you press the home button what happens swipe up action swipe down action so right now, right now I have swipe up action reveals the sense previews look that is which home screen do I want to go to the swipe down action reveals my hidden dock bar you can have the swipe up action launch the dock dock bar you can have the swipe up action launch the notification bar whatever you want whatever you like it's completely customizable all right general behavior gestures that will swipe up swipe down let me show you what it has so you guys can get get a look all right um and then what is this system preferences you don't want to mess around too much here but here is where you can change the when the when you press the menu button what it does what you want see I like settings in the menu button ADW settings I don't want to add stuff I don't want wallpaper because anyways I get the wallpaper once I uh, what is that once I long press on the home screen so that's what the menu button does when you're on the home screen you press the menu button that's what it does it launches this and you can rearrange these like I can move that up, I can move that down, or more down, right? Okay, we're done with that. Okay, what else do we have? Hmm, okay, bubble font size, show notification bar, that is this this bar. You can even hide it. Uh, scrolling cache, wallpaper hack, you don't want to mess around too much with here. Opening transitions. Here you can have, I have the slide transition as you guys saw, every time I open, open an application slides in. And then I have the fade, I have the zoom. Okay, and the droid, the standard one that comes with your phone. So let me show you what it's, the, the slide one is. Um, let's see, let's launch. 
here is just slide it out watch slide it out that slide pulse slide it in all right so that's it that's the EW launcher if you want to change themes you go here select your team I have a lot of themes here choose whatever you want that's how I changed it, my themes and backup and restore once you're done setting the ADW launcher as you want you want to back up your ADW launcher settings and you want to set it to what you like and you want to back it up and then whenever you change it or you restart your phone or whatever you want to do and you don't like it once you've changed it restore it let's restore all right we are done that's it I'm logging out peace bye bye subscribe